So a shout out to Consumer Knit World. Uh, George Topman at Consumer Knit World, he sent me these out. These are both, one's a smaller intermittent pad. There's a longer one there for back of a Consumer Knit. And we're gonna try this out, look. This is a tube filled with mysterious liquid that combusts, melts, and puts out fire. So we're gonna give that a go. Right, so I'll just run you through what I've done. I've taken out all the unnecessary bits that we don't need for this test. I've done a, a back knockout, as you've seen in the photos, and I've replicated some cables coming back entry from a cavity. Imagine this was a wall in the back there, wooden wall coming through the cavity and the cables are coming in the consumer unit. I've left the lid off. We're gonna test this intermittent pad first. So uh, you can fit these when you've done a rear entry like this to save using the mastic stuff. You can put one of these pads in and we're just gonna see how effective they are about shutting um, those holes up there. See how that expands and swells up? Creates a perfect seal around those cables. Well, I'll just blow that out now because that's the cables actually burning away there. Right, as you can see there, it has done its trick. See how this is um, expanded up, look. And it actually went out on its own. I didn't actually do anything with that. Look, we'll have a look at the rear. So that is completely contained that, apart from a little bit of smoke coming out there. Look, it's completely contained that fire um, in the back there. What we will do now is I know this is gonna be a little bit too big for this. So what we're gonna have to do is lay this on his side and then see what this um, canister actually does. So what you'd normally do is um, fix these into the top of the consumer unit, okay? So if there was a fire, then this should come down and put the fire out. But we're going to leave the lid off. We're going to leave this in here. We're just going to see what's going to happen with this when I sort of set it alight, okay? Right, what I've done is chuck a couple of fire lighters in there just to give it fuel. And this will replicate either breakers or um, cables or anything that might set a light inside the consumer unit once it's got a fire going, yeah? See if anything happens.
bloody hell. Let's put the fire out. <laughs> My God. That scared the crap out of me. There we go. Right, and just because we can, oh, this is an old Aurora downlight I ripped out the other day. And as you can see in there, you've got that intermittent pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens with that once we put a flame in there. Let's get you set up first. Look at that, it's absolutely filling up the light there with all the stuff. So if that was breaking through your plasterboard ceiling, um, this would then seal the fire and should keep the fire um, it, um, integrity of the ceiling, yeah? Okay, so it's nearly done its job. Look, it's completely engulfed that light fitting um, with the intermittent uh, material there. And that would stop your uh, fire going through your light fittings and then up into your roof and causing more havoc there. Look. So I don't see the point in anyone ever fitting non-fire compliant lights, which they do sell them on the market and people do fit them, believe it or not.